The backdrop of this fall's voting is a mood of voter anger over the status quo. At least that's what the polls suggest. And just one month before the election, it isn't even clear what exactly the midterm contests are about. It's strange, and WSJ's Washington Bureau chief joins us now to help get to the bottom of it. Jerry, thank you for being there. Happy to be here, Simon. So typically interest in a midterm elections is low, but this, the interest this year is remarkably low, isn't it? Well, you know, with the story that we have today about this topic in the journal, there's an interesting chart that appears that shows the level of interest as seen uh, in our poll among voters in general. And if you look at all categories, Republicans, Democrats, and Independents, and you track the last midterm, 2010, to today, the, all the lines are going down. So it's not just one group of, of voters, not just discouraged Democrats or disillusioned Independents. Everybody is, uh, is, is uninterested, and I think that's because uh, there is, as you suggested, a lot of disillusionment with the status quo. Some people respond to that by going out to throw the bums out. Some vote by just walking away from the system a little bit. You got a little bit of both at, at work this year, I think. There's another thing, though. That there's also a lack of, of big issues coming up. Um, normally in an election, there's something. Often it's, you know, jobs or whatever. But it's been such a long time since the jobs market was roaring that maybe uh, maybe that, that that is why that isn't coming up. But what do you make of that? I mean, well, you've, you've been in Washington yeah, for a I, long time. Yeah, this is, I mean, the, the disillusionment is the issue in this election. It is odd, as you suggest. I mean, if you go back to 2006, it was the, it was the state of the Iraq and the Afghan wars. In 2008, it was the economic and financial collapse that was just a beginning at that point. In 2010, uh, famously, it was Obamacare. In 2012, it was kind of, where are we four years after President Obama came into, to, into power, particularly on the economy? This year, you look around, and, and there is no particular uh, issue. There's a little bit of Obamacare. There's a little bit of the economy. There's a little bit of immigration. Um, there's a whole lot of, uh, of nothing in some, t to some uh, extent, and what you really have is a, a, a vote that's much uh, about people's mood rather than some particular issue that has seized their attention. Yeah, and uh, no notably, you didn't mention foreign policy there, which never seems to be a huge issue, but that's not good. Right. Now, the other thing we've got up on the screen now, which you probably can't see, is that do you think the nation is uh, headed in the right direction? And basically, the wrong track says 67%, which would be a no to headed in the right direction. Wow, that is huge, Jerry. That is um, two-thirds of people saying a big thumbs down. Right, and that kind of captures the mood, I think. And, you know, I think what people uh, are basically saying is that they are feeling econ somewhere between economically insecure and economically frightened. And that's the real story of this mood, I think. And in part, it's because there has been a recovery. And, you know, the administration, the White House keeps saying, you know, there's been job growth for months and months and months. And, of course, they're right. But it doesn't feel very uh, robust to anybody. In fact, I think people are starting to ask, well, is unemployment between 5 and 6% uh, the new normal? Can we not do better than and that is economic growth between 1% and 2%, the new normal. Can we not do better than that? And I think they're starting to decide the answer to those questions are that is the new normal. That, uh, that frightens some people, angers others, and they're casting about for a better answer. So I think it's a long way of saying, Simon, that a lot of this is, uh, once again, it's all about the economy, stupid. Well, it is, yeah, it's often the, the, the economy. One of the things that I find interesting here and I, I look at this is I wonder whether people are digging in more, given that there's no clear sort of that's the policy we want. Are, are people on the left, people on the right digging in and just sort of putting up, if you like, sandbags and barbed wire and saying, well, OK, I don't think things are great, but I'm still sticking, you know, on the left wing with Obama or on the, on the right wing with the Republicans? Yeah, well, it's a good question, and we'll see. I do think you have to say that in this environment, uh, the things are worse for the Democrats uh, for a couple of reasons. A, there's a lot of anger at President Obama, and that's the one thing that does seem to motivate people this year. Uh, and B, this is bad news for incumbents of all stripes because people are mad at the status quo, as we've been discussing. Well, it happens the Democrats have more people up who have to defend their seats in the Senate, in particular, because that's the key for this whole year. Uh, and if you're the party with the most on the line to defend this year, you're the party who's got big trouble. And that's that's why this uh, looks like a good year for Republicans, even while there's kind of disillusionment with everybody. So uh, it's not going to break evenly. It's going to break better for Republicans than for Democrats, uh, because uh, you know Democrats have uh, have the wind in their faces on a couple of in a couple of different ways. Okay. I guess it's to throw the bums out here. Yeah, we will see what happens. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Jerry Seib of the Wall Street sure. Journal.